Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm Kenyan. I'm 32 years old. As part of the Scientist Global Action, I presented this masterclass, a climate change primer. I was lucky enough to have friends from around the world help me. We've had some great conversations throughout the class. We started with climate change and earth systems. This river used to be a, an all-weather river which used to flow throughout. But due to global warming and climate change, today this river, it has no water. We should all be able to contribute our quota to the fight against climate change in any way and manner that we can. There are various reports that highlight the impact and vulnerability of soils related to climate change, including erosion, which can be accelerated by extreme climate events such as intense rain, drought, heat waves, and storm. In addition to causing the loss of area of land, rising seas level may change soil in coastal areas or bring contamination, including salt, from the area. We humans as a species, especially in certain parts of the world, separated our lives from nature. And we treated nature as something that we can only extract from. Instead of thinking of human life and all other species as part of a unique life, as part of a whole. This behavior, perpetrated in time, led to irreversible damages that in the next decades will reveal themselves in a catastrophic manner. Then we went into a system change where Jay has helped us the female robotic roles. Unforgettable because Jay is a dude. So, but from normal people voices, we also heard about climate justice. A changed media world can lead to a rethink, a cultural change, and mass actions in this regard. The protection of nature, the preservation, or the restoration of a broad biodiversity, as a basis for the integration and adaptation of civilized sophistication could then be a natural part of any further development. Um, as I understand it, climate injustice refers to the phenomena wherein people who have contributed the least to the ongoing climate crisis are those that suffer the most. Um, and the fact that most of these communities that are suffering are those that have already been on the margins and been vulnerable to various kinds of injustice makes climate injustice even worse. We have a question. Well, why is climate change a big deal? Climate change means no person. I get this and I think it's true. We've had since the dinosaur age and all the ages that have been triggered by climate change. And well, hey, we have life on Earth and the climate risks we face today are unfolding. Floods, droughts, heat waves, uh, wildfires. All these are putting a strain on life as we know it. And this isn't about us alone. It's about literally a really big thing. This example of where I come from. I live around Lake Victoria and we have had floods last year. And in every home state, you find that uh, every week, or rather every month, you have to find that somebody that have been affected by malaria. So malaria has become, become a common thing in my area due to the floods that we witness and uh, that have led to the rising level of the water in Lake Victoria. And also the cholera cases, because we heavily depend on water from the streams and the rivers and these floods have mixed with this water and therefore the water is not really clean and the cholera cases have really risen. Another question. So how can we help? What do we do about it if world leaders aren't leading the conversation? We make them listen. 
so far. I should have taken like a before shot. This whole place was like um, just red sweat. <laughs> and it's a quite, it's quite a tiny space. But the whole thing was the whole idea was to just grow as many veggies as we can so that my parents don't have to keep going to the market because of COVID. And well, I think that farmers most of them with climate change is something that is necessary and is very important and as soon as possible because we can see the the change of patterns in weather worldwide, how they are affecting small farming. To start with, before you can even talk about how to deal with the climate and issues related to flooding and hurricanes and wildfires, you first have to have some type of awareness. Uh, the awareness campaign has been going on for a number of years, but we still have a long way to go because people in general don't really have a full understanding how the climate emergency is impacting themselves and their families.